Welcome to What's New in Sitecore 8.1. I'm Ian Averly with the Office of Information Technology. Today we're going to be talking about some of the new features, or actually the new look and feel, of Sitecore 8.1. As you know, we recently updated our Sitecore experience to the latest and greatest version. And we want to make sure that when you log in, it's not a culture shock to you when you see what's going on. If you've used Sitecore before, you should be able to easily manage navigating the interface, but we just want to make sure that everybody is on the same page. If you're new to Sitecore, don't worry. We're going to show you how to kind of edit some pages in Sitecore and kind of get you acclimated to the new system uh, as quickly as possible. Let's begin. To start, let's go ahead and go to wcmstage.smu.edu slash Sitecore. That will bring you to the login screen like you see here. To log in, all you do is use your username and type in your SMU password. So I'm just going to go ahead and type that in now. And log in. There we go. Now what you will see when you log in is this launch pad here. This is new with Sitecore 8.1. Now what you're seeing here, all these little icons, may look a little different on your screen compared to my screen just because the roles we have assigned to each of us. Content editor, everybody should see on theirs as same goes for media library right here. Uh, the other one too is the experience editor. These are the three areas we're gonna be talking about today. If you've been using Sitecore before, everything you've been doing before in Sitecore has been done within the content editor, uh, except for uploading images and PDF files. That's all done in the media library. When we get down to the end, I want to talk a little bit about the experience manager. So let's go ahead and begin just by clicking on the content editor. And what you'll notice is the page as it loads here. The layout is pretty much exactly as it has been up to this point. So we have our content area here where we edit all of our page content just like we have for the last several years. Our content tree over here is still there, but the ribbon up here has changed just a little bit. What you'll notice is the interface is much cleaner, easier to read, uh, no more of that uh, Windows 98 feel with this. The home button area and tab has all your favorites, save, edit, create new pages, new bio, uh, duplicating, copying, uh, even renaming. Those are all still available there. Uh, but you will also notice if I right click on the home here, all those same options are here too. So inserting a new page, those widgets, searching, copying, sorting, all there. The review tab will have, if you checked out a page, will also have your stage and submit buttons available here. You'll be able to click those and uh, make your page live just as you have been. Uh, the publish tab is right there with our preview to open up your view. And you'll notice there's a experience editor there. We'll come back to that later. Uh, if you're doing anything with the presentation layer, such as adding widgets and stuff like that, that's all going to be found here under the details. You'll see in my toolbar, I'll have all the options that I frequently use or features I frequently use right here at my disposal, including my items, which allow me to check out, or sorry, check in everything that I have checked out all at once. Uh, my favorite, so I can easily jump to any one of the pages that I edit on a regular basis. Uh, details, uh, again, I do a lot of adding widgets and stuff, publishing features, previews, and edit buttons are all available there. So let's go ahead and take a look at how, what's changed in our page editor. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my content tree here and go down to my demo page that I've created. Here we go. So we have our demo and you'll see the sections are still the same. All the content you have previously in Sitecore is going to be carried over to this new version. So you shouldn't have to go in and change anything that was there before. Now what you'll see here in the titles, my titles have all come over. So I have my demos are awesome. 
the side nav, uh, which will show up in the sidebar here. Uh, when we preview the page, it's demo. The top nav, that would be whatever comes in the drop-down menus at the top of the page. The banner title, that's going to be what the, uh, if you use the SMU template, would have, be in the red bar area. Um, and that's going to be your department name or school, whatever you guys have decided for your style guide as how you want to brand that across the thing. But that's going to be pretty consistent throughout most of your site. Um, and of course, the browser title here, that's what your page is going to be saved as in when somebody does a, uh, saves your bookmark, that's what's going to show up there. So our editor here, I'm going to go ahead and click back on home here, so I'm not distracted by my toolbar. So if we, uh, we look at the editor here, and I just clicked on show editor, it's going to bring up our rich text editor. So you'll see my page content here. Um, I've got the uh, navigation for editing all my little tools are right there uh, this little area will automatically collapse and resize as you resize your window which is kind of nice so if you're trying to uh, say edit a page on a mobile phone you'll still have all the access all of those features right there um, not that I'd recommend it but it's just kind of good to know that it's there if you need it all right so if I want to go ahead and change my heading here, I can go ahead and select that and change my heading. Um, I actually like to heading too, so I'm going to go ahead and change that back. Um, you'll see I have a list. I have a hyperlink. If I want to go ahead and add a new hyperlink, I can do that here. And if I want to go ahead and select that text, I can. And and so the icon here for our insert Sitecore link, it's kind of changed. Uh, before it was just a, a little link, uh, but now it's this icon. So we'll go ahead and click that. And what you'll notice is our linking tool here for linking to something within Sitecore has been nicely changed. I can easily go here and I'm going to just go ahead and link this to the SMU 100 page right there and click insert and that's going to go ahead and add that link right there. Now if I want to go ahead and add an image that would be the next icon here. Before it was a little mountain scene icon uh, this is now for the insert Sitecore Media. Um, even though it says insert Sitecore Media what it's mostly going to do is insert your images. So I'm going to go ahead and click that here. Now I have a folder in my media library here. I'm going to, just going to go ahead and scroll down to my demo. Oops, there it was already. Demo folder right here. And I have this little JPEG image. Now what you'll notice is, that, again, nice clean interface, easy to use. Um, but for my example here, what you'll see is I have a height here set up for a very large image and that's going to take up most of the page. And I really don't want to do that. So what I want to do is go ahead and reduce that size. The nice thing is Sitecore will go ahead and let me do that here and dynamically create a new image at that smaller size. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to type in 200 and what you'll notice is as soon as I hit the tab key it will automatically create the right width for that image right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click insert it's going to put that image right there on my page. Now if I go ahead and right click on the image I can edit the image properties. Now this isn't new, this has been exactly the same as it has for the last several years here in Sitecore, but again the interface is a little more clean and easier to see. So if I want to go ahead and say oh, I want that to align right, I can. If I want to go ahead and give it a little padding on the left here to make sure no text bumps right up against it, I can do that in here also. And go ahead and click OK and you'll see that it jumps over to the side of the page. Now if I want to take that and make that a link too, I can also link that image right to the file that it's a preview of by hitting again my insert Sitecore link. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. 
It's going to load my editor here. And the nice thing is, right here on media items, I can go ahead and this is actually a PDF file right here uh, that I want to link to. So if I go ahead and hit insert, it will go ahead and link that for me. If I'm all done with all my changes, I just go ahead and hit accept and I'm good to go. I'm just going to add one more thing here. Um, and that will be an external link. Just so you guys can see what that's going to look like in the new version here. I select that and that's now found right here and that's the hyperlink manager. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Get that to load. There we go. Again, just cleaner, easier to see. Um, I can go ahead and put in my URL here. Now, um, while I did type in a site here on SMU servers, um, I really would not want to do that in actual practice. What I would do use this for is only pages that are going outside of the university. Um, that way if the page moves or changes, um, Sitecore will keep track of it if you use the insert Sitecore media link. Um, or so, and when you do it this way, if a page changes or something like that uh, gets deleted, there's no way you can track it. So just one of those things. I'm going to go ahead and click OK here, though. Oh, and I can even tell it to uh, open in a new window while I'm here. Click OK. And there we're set. So I'm going to go ahead and click Accept. There we go. I can go ahead and save my page. And then if I wanted to preview it, I'm a big fan of opening it up in a new tab. So I'm just going to click on the Publish tab here and click Preview. And that will open up my demo page in a new preview window. And so you can kind of see the area that I've set up. You can see as I move my cursor over there that that's a hyperlink. You'll see my pages here and my other links are all right here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll just leave that open, but go back to my content editor here. Um, if I want to go ahead and add a new page, that's still done the same way. I'm just going to right click, say insert page, and on demo three, click OK. There we go. So all this is going to be pretty much the same. Uh, I still, of course, want to come in and for my titles, make sure I enter in all that information there so that the page loads up nice and neatly. I can do that there. So I just, well, no, why not? I'll just uh, demo page three. Oh, there we go. And I'm just going to copy and paste that into the other areas there. Great. Now, let's go ahead and uh, save that. Okay, so one of the other things that has changed is the uh, image browser we saw there. Uh, but one of the nice things is I'm going to add on this one, I'm going to add a header image. And that will be the image that comes up at the very top of the page. And I can get to that by coming up here and... Uh, Lost my scrolling wildly here. Sorry about that. There it is, header image. I'm going to go ahead and click the browse there for that header image. And what you'll see is the select media interface. This is completely changed uh, with this new version. Again, much cleaner, easier to see. Uh, nice thing is here, I can get to recently uploaded by me, and I can see all the images that I have uploaded, um, and I can select one and have it show up. Uh, so if you're doing a lot of image uploads, you can easily do that here. I can even go ahead and search for something. Um, right now I'm set to search the entire media library folder. Um, and in this case, I want to, I know I have an image called Arrow. Uh, it's 
right there. But for example, if I go ahead and type in arrow and do a search, you'll search the entire media library for any images with arrow. And uh, that's the one. So I can go ahead and select that. This terrible header image, but uh, put that in there and you'll see that it shows up there. I'm going to go ahead and clear that out since we don't need that. That just looked terrible and I don't want to show you something that looks that terrible. Mostly there, everything's kind of, you've seen the differences, just cleaner interface, easier to see, easier to navigate. Uh, let's go over to the media library here. Uh, I'm sure, go ahead and save my changes there. Okay, again, pretty much the same interface that we've seen before. Uh, if we go to our site here, and I click on my demo folder, you'll see all the images that I have here. And I can go ahead and if I want to add new files, I can click the upload files. If you've been to any of my classes, you know I'm not a big fan of the upload files button. I always use the upload files advanced. Um, and the reason for that is going to go ahead and allow you to add the alt tag to make your content searchable and very helpful for anybody who's using a screen reader to actually see what the image is. Um, if you want to create a new folder, you can do that just by clicking New Folder, type in the folder name there. Um, just like in our directory, our content editor, anything of our pages, folders, same thing, no spaces in the names. So you'll see over here in our sidebar, no spaces in any of these names. This is great. Um, you do want to keep that the same. This is a different area. We'll, we'll ignore that there, but for our site where we're linking images and stuff, no spaces. Just like our in the content editor, anything we put in the content tree, no spaces. So if I want to upload files advanced, I click that here. I can go ahead and click on a image that I want to um, upload to to this and uh, let's go ahead I can click this image here and click open and what it will do is allow me to add an alt tag right there for that image and then if I click upload again cleaner interface but works exactly the same as it has with the old version of site core all right so I think at this point you're kind of getting the idea. Um, cleaner interface, easier to read, easier to see, easier to navigate. Um, consistent look and feel throughout the entire site. But if you've been using Sitecore up to this point on a regular basis, you'll easily be able to manage this and get through this. Now, for those of you who don't use Sitecore on a regular basis or are new to Sitecore, don't worry, we still got you covered. So um, I have here in my other tab our SMU Wiki page, um, and that's available at wiki.smu.edu. Again, that's wiki.smu.edu. Uh, you'll log into the wiki with your SMU ID and password. Oops, helps put in the right SMU ID and password. And when you get there, we have a complete Sitecore knowledge base available. And all you have to do is just search when you get there for using Sitecore. And that'll get you right there. So I'm going to type in using Sitecore. There it is. There's our old video tutorials. There's the one I want, our public documentation. And this is our using Sitecore guide within the Sitecore knowledge base. This whole thing is structured out just like you would beginning to, from beginning to start to building out your page. So it starts off with the logging in. So if you leave this and can't remember how to log in, it's all done right here, um, start to finish. So we cover logging in, where to go where to log in. There's the interface, how to connect from off campus, um, using the Sitecore interface. So it breaks down 
all the features of Sitecore in the different areas. Makes it really easy to manage. And then it goes right into building your Sitecore site. So everything from adding a new page to editing your existing pages, all that's covered start to finish right there. So if you have any questions about using Sitecore or getting started, this is a great place to get, get going. Just go to wiki.smu.edu and search for using Sitecore. All right, now that I've showed that to you, I want to go ahead and jump back into our Sitecore interface here. And let's talk a little bit about that experience editor that I mentioned earlier. So I have my demo page here. I'm going to go ahead and click on my Publish tab, and I'm going to launch that Experience Editor. And so if I click that, what this will do, that's to be expected, it's doing all the magic in behind the scenes, um, is go it's going to launch a WYSIWYG editor for you to edit your content directly in Sitecore. Now, this feature has not totally been flushed out with Sitecore yet. And there's some great improvements that are available and we're working towards. But what we wanted to do, or for part of the roadmap to get there, is this Sitecore 8.1 update. So we had to install that update so we can take advantage of this and really flush this out. But what this will hopefully do is help people who do not use Sitecore on a regular basis. This is going to get you in there and you're going to be able to edit your content kind of like you're seeing it on the web page. So I have my demo page here that we created a little while ago and you can see there's no text in the, the first text field. But I can go ahead and type directly into here. There we go. Um, I can even edit that. I can go ahead and say, oh, that's bold, and let's make that italic. Um, and there we go. So I go ahead and add that feature there. I can add new pieces under, um, under here. I can even, well, let's go ahead. I can even do my link. So there's my hello. I'm going to go ahead and link this to a new page. Again, it's going to bring up that same insert link interface that we just had. I'm going to go ahead and link that to the same page I did before. Insert that link. There we go. And then uh, I'm going to use the floppy disk icon to save changes because we know how often we use those floppy disks nowadays. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Save that there. It's going to get flash a little bit you see all the magic behind the scenes there there we go great so now that's saved and so I, if I wanted to go ahead and make this live uh, we would be able to go ahead and do that I'm not going to do that here but what I want to show you really special though uh, if I go ahead and close this tab we save the page if I come back over to my content editor I'm going to click off the page and come back on demo 3 and what you'll notice You'll see that you see that right there in the body content it's actually edited that for you so uh, it's gone ahead and put that in to the right spots right there it's even done you can see my linkings there coolest thing is there it's all there and easily for me to now you saw there were some kind of delays there where I mean that's the thing we got to improve that performance and stuff and do a few other tweaks and get that going but the team that's the next one of the next things on the roadmap uh, past this there's a few things we're still working through with the 8.1 upgrade um, and so if you have any issues or problems with the upgrade or something that not quite working right since the upgrade please please send in a help ticket um, to or just shoot us an email at help at smu.edu or call 214-768-HELP and give us a call and let us know that there's something wrong and we can we can try to get that resolved um, 
but that's where we're going. This is this is where the future will be is just being able to launch that experience editor and edit your page just the way it looks on the on the site there. Um, so that's about it with what's new with Sitecore 8.1. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to, again, contact the help desk at help at smu.edu or 214-768-HELP. Again, this is Ian Aberly with the Office of Information Technology. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you have fun Sitecoring. Thank you so much for attending and enjoying what's new with Sitecore 8.1. Thank you, and have a great day.